I know that we're a band that's based on a lot of tradition because we started before the football team started. In the late 1800s, we had a, it started with a 10-person uh, marching band. It's grown and expanded with the university when MSU became a Big Ten school, you know, that called for a bigger band. We played in World Series, we played in multiple Rose Bowls, and we played for, um, I believe, like five presidents. Hi, my name is uh, Joseph Ham Blauckel. I'm a fourth year member in the Spartan Marching Band and I play the tuba. My name is Shannon Regan. I'm a fourth year in the band. I'm the Big Ten Flag Corps section leader, so I carry the Michigan State flag. My name is Rachel Linsmeyer. This is my third year in the Spartan Marching Band um, and my first year as drum major. My, I'm the second female drum major of the Spartan Marching Band. The first was in 1995 and so I'm the first woman in a long time. Hi, my name is Michael McDowell. I'm a fourth year in the band, and my instrument is tenor sax. Well, the game day experience starts for the Big Ten section an hour before morning rehearsal because we all get up an hour earlier and meet at the Big Ten room in Dem Hall to have breakfast with one another. I usually get up at around 6.30, and um, I'm a squad leader, so I would go get squad treats, so just like kind of get some donuts for my squad, my five-person squad. And so we practice for about an hour and a half on uh, turf field. You know, we run through pregame, we run through halftime, and it's our last you know, time to get instruction from the directors before we have to go out there and do it on our own. So it's kind of like a, a dress rehearsal, but not. And um, after that, then I usually go, I go back um, to my apartment and I um, shave and I go to my parents' tailgate. And then I'll head back to my room, maybe have a snack, take a little nap, um, try to get myself mentally prepared and physically prepared for the day. A series to the stadium, my favorite. It's just really intense. It's really intense. I, I even made a baby cry once. Super intense. Uh, it's all about intensity. Series is something that no other band can replicate, no matter how hard they try. It's been passed down so many generations, it's been tweaked and changed, and it really is a beast of the Spartan marching band. It consists of uh, different, different kinds of drum cadences pieced together over time. Every so year, something gets put into it, and then it was finally finalized. Uh, maybe 30 years ago. The march to the stadium, it's a bunch of different moves and choreographed vocals that the whole band does together. Uh, the tubas, we love the series more than anything. And that's basically uh, the one of the number one reasons I'm in the marching band is to do series. And it's all about striving for perfection in order to intimidate. Our facial expression, we're just real serious, real, uh, real mean. Everyone goes, oh. You know, like, I didn't, well, that was weird. You know, that, that, that was kind of scary, you know. It's those, those moments where, like, you know, things happen in there that people are like, you know, yeah, it's a band, that's cool, they're awesome. And, well, they're intense, you know. It's that time where they step back and they're not expecting that. It's the, probably the most physical thing I've ever done. Um, I take a 65-pound horn and I throw it all over my body. And uh, training for it, you get bruises, you get cut up. It's awesome. Like I said, we start from Adamsfield and uh, go to the stadium, and it's just like it's like we're going to war. Awesome for a Big Ten because you're the first one out on the field, so you get to hear that crowd cheer. The moment they see us exit the tunnel, it's like the stadium lights up. The game then begins with running out of the tunnel with a kick step and um, playing state fanfare, which is where the drum majors get to do their thing. The band's playing state fanfare, this big dramatic thing, and um, at a certain point in the music, both Ian and I will head from out of the block, start running, and we'll sprint around um, the sides of the band, come up to the 30-yard line, and um, this is our, you know, 15 seconds of fame. Um, we do a little bit of a baton routine, we salute the student section, we prep all leading up to the back bend, which um, we take our hats, 
and we lean back and we plant the plumes in the top of our heads into the turf behind us. This gets us in the mood for uh, Big Ten football. So we're cheering them on, watching them win, and then uh, halftime comes around and we get out on the halftime show. Playing in the stands and hanging out and cheering for the Spartans in the stands is a lot of fun too. I mean, we have tons of cheers that we do to all the rah-rah that the band plays. And I think I think it's impossible to be in the band and not get swept up in football, um, especially because you're front row seats and you get to be such an integral part of it. It's really cool. Afterwards, we'll. Um, do our post game show, uh, which consists of some of our tunes that we played during that halftime. And we play some more tunes for people who want to hear more. March back to Dem at the end from, uh, from the stadium, more series, and that's my game day. Marching band is incredible to me. I think that it is such a fantastic thing that we humans have come up with. I went to a couple football games, I saw a Spartan marching band and just immediately fell in love with it. The Spartan marching band really has a lot of traditions that have been part of the band for several years. It just separates us from a lot of bands. The Spartan marching band is an incredible band and it's so seeped in tradition as well as those cool marching band kind of aspects. Um, that's just really cool to me. Basically, the entire tradition of the marching band itself. Uh, I like I like the just the discipline associated with like putting the uniform on and and uh, just trying your hardest every day to be become better. We sing the shadows, which is our alma mater, and that is, I think, I don't know if anyone in our school really appreciates the shadows like the band does. Hearing the band sing that, sing that every time really just, it, it puts tingles up and down my spine.